Okay, so this is my token board. These are really easy to make. This is just like a chalkboard from the dollar store. These are stickers from the dollar store. And these I just wrote numbers on. On the backs of them is Velcro, sticky back Velcro, but they usually have it at like CVS or Rite Aid. And then self-adhesive self laminate. So it basically just works like a sticker. You open it up, you peel off the back, and you stick your whatever it is that you want to put in. If you don't have laminate, that's not a problem. You can use clear packing tape. You can also get these at the dollar store. They're cutting boards that you can cut into a smaller shape. And these are a really good backing for the tokens. It makes them a little bit sturdier and stiffer, especially if you're using tape. If you buy this at the dollar store, you can use part of it as your backing for your tokens, but then you can use this board actually as your token board. So there's two ways that you can do the token boards with the numbers. On this one, I have them removable, which is nice because when you're introducing the token board, they may, the child might not be ready to do five, then you can sort of just do three. Or if it's a more difficult task, a newer task, you can go back to three if they've gotten to five. Another easier way to do it, though, is just to have a permanent marker on a piece of this, the cutting board. Just write the numbers right on, and then you can just put the tokens right on the Velcro. Very simple. So token boards are just a really great way to help your child, support your child through any sort of difficult time that they're having. Playing nicely. Well done. You can have your iPad for five minutes.